What are the Platonic solids? The ancient Greek philosopher Plato described five special solids we know as the tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. Let's take a look at each of these solids in turn. The tetrahedron has four faces, four vertices, and six edges. Each face is an equilateral triangle, with three triangular faces meeting at each vertex. The cube has six faces, eight vertices, and twelve edges. Each face is a square, with three square faces meeting at each vertex. The octahedron has eight faces, six vertices, and twelve edges. As with the tetrahedron, each face is an equilateral triangle. Only now, four triangular faces meet at each vertex. The dodecahedron has twelve faces, twenty vertices, and thirty edges. Each face is a regular pentagon, with three pentagonal faces meeting at each vertex. Finally, the icosahedron has twenty faces, twelve vertices, and thirty edges. As with the tetrahedron and octahedron, each face is an equilateral triangle. But now, five triangular faces meet at each vertex. What is special about these solids? The faces of a platonic solid are congruent regular polygons arranged in three-dimensional space to form a convex polyhedron. With the same number of faces meeting at each vertex. To put it differently, if you start with a simple regular polygon and transform it in three-dimensional space using only translation, rotation, and reflection, so that the resulting faces fit together perfectly in the form of a convex polyhedron, where the same number of faces meet at each vertex. The end result will be one of the platonic solids. It turns out that there are only five ways in which this can be done, and that is why there are only five platonic solids. The platonic solids obey Euler's formula, which states that for any convex polyhedron, the number of faces plus the number of vertices minus the number of edges. Always equals two, or f plus v minus e equals two. For example, for the tetrahedron, f equals four, v equals four, and e equals six. So, according to Euler's formula, f plus v minus e equals eight minus six, which equals two. Or applying the formula to the icosahedron, f equals twenty, v equals twelve, and e equals thirty. So according to Euler's formula, f plus v minus e equals thirty-two minus thirty, which still equals two. You can test Euler's formula out on the other platonic solids. And you will find it holds equally well for them too.